Hello, reading friends. It's Ani. Do you live where it rains a lot? Well, in some places, it can feel like the rain will never end. In today's book, let's see how a chain of events affects people in a small town on a very rainy day. Join with me as we read "The Rain Came Down." If you have a copy, go get it so you can read along with me. The Rain Came Down by David Shannon. On Saturday morning, the rain came down. It made the chickens squawk. The cat yowled at the chickens, and the dog barked at the cat. And still, the rain came down. The man yelled at the dog and woke up the baby. Stop all that yelling! Shouted the man's wife. The dog barked louder, and still the rain came down. A policeman heard the noise and stopped to see what was wrong. His car was blocking traffic, and half a block away, a woman squirmed in the back of a taxi. Hurry up, or I'll miss my plane! She told the taxi driver, so he started honking his horn. The truck driver in front of him got mad and started honking back. I have tomatoes to deliver! He shouted. The ice cream man heard the honking and turned up the music on his van. Jingle a jingle went his music. Slap a de slap went his windshield wipers. And still the rain came down. The owner of the beauty parlor came out to see what all the fuss was about. She bumped into the barber coming out of his barber shop, and they began to argue. Up on his ladder, the painter grumbled. I can't paint in the rain. He started to climb down and bonk the barber in the head with his can of paint. Now all three of them were arguing. Next, the baker stepped out of his bakery. My roof is leaking and my cakes are getting wet. He moaned. He opened his umbrella and poked the pizza man in the nose. So they joined in the bickering too. A boy ran by, chasing a small boat down the stream in the gutter. He splashed a little girl, and she began to cry. And still, the rain came down. The grocery man stomped out onto the sidewalk and yelled, "Where is that delivery truck? I need my tomatoes!" He ran into a lady coming out of the clothing store and knocked her boxes into his fruit stand. Oranges, apples, and lemons bounced down the sidewalk, and still the rain came down. The policeman walked back to his car. What is all this ruckus about? He asked. The whole block was honking, yelling, bickering, and barking, and then the rain stopped, and so did the noise. The sun came out, and the air smelled fresh and sweet. Everything shimmered, and a rainbow stretched across the rooftops. It's much too nice a day to be arguing," said the baker. "I have cakes to bake, and I have a pizzas to make," said the pizza man. "I could use a shave while my building dries," said the painter to the barber. Then they went inside. The policeman said, "Everything looks a okay here to me," and he drove off in his car. The woman in the taxi decided she had time to have her hair done before her trip, and she went into the beauty parlor. So the lady with the boxes got into the taxi and went home. The truck driver told the grocer, "I have your tomatoes." Wonderful," said the grocer. "But first, I have to pick up this fruit." 
The little girl and boy helped him, so he bought them ice cream cones. And the ice cream man gave them each an extra scoop because it was such a nice day. Then the man, his wife, and their baby had a picnic together in the backyard, while the dog, the cat, and the chickens slept in the warm afternoon sun. Did you notice what happened to all the people in the story when the sun came out? The sun can brighten not only the sky, it can brighten our mood too. I hope you enjoyed our story today, and you always brighten my day. See you next time. Subscribe for more story time, and don't forget to click the bell so you'll know each time a new video is posted.